Good morning. It's Carla or Changing 56. I know what a shock. It's been a while. I looked back, it's been three months since I made a video. I started keto in um, January and I did really well for, um, for a time. And then with work, things got a little stressful and I uh, was changing the way I was cooking here so I you know added in a few things and then I went off track and I went to the beach um, in May and that would you know and I thought well I'll get back on it well I didn't get back on it I, I could do it for a couple of days and then you know so last week with the 4th of July was a total disaster I started out at work making this huge trifle well, of course, I had to have some, and then the, at my other job on the 4th, I cooked and made potato salad, and of course, I ate that, and, you know, it just went downhill from there. Uh, I ate all week, all week, and, you know, I wonder why I felt so crappy on Saturday when I finally got uh, off of work. I work Monday through Fridays. I work Monday Thursday and Friday, uh, 12 hour shift, 7 to 7, and then Tuesday and Wednesday, I work uh, 7 to 3. So I stay pretty busy. All day Saturday, I slept. Well, I'm going, okay, it's the sugar and the crappy carbs that I've been eating that's making me feel so bad. So I just, you know, decided I was going to hit keto. And then I saw like the sugar detox, which, you know, it's kind of the same thing so i'm gonna do a 30-day sugar detox and get back on keto and um, cut the carbs out i was going to do like a full day of eating but i've never done one of those and i just um, downloaded a app or an app to um, put videos together i've never done that either so i decided this first day is going to be a little stressful so i'm not really going to worry about that um Going back, for those of you who haven't seen me in a while or don't remember, I had gastric bypass in June of 2012, and I initially lost about 100 pounds, got way too small, and I've gained back up. Um, last week, I was 140. Today, I was 144. That tells you how much crap I ate last week. Um, anyway... My my sweet spot really is about 130, so that's where I'd like to go. But my biggest goal here is to get the carbs and the sugar out of my system. And with that, everything else will fall into place. Um, I do need to start exercising some. I've been saying that for quite a while. Um, but the hot weather has finally gotten here. June was a very unusual month for us. But it's, it's finally Alabama. It's hot and humid, so... Um, walking would have to come early in the morning. Um, just depends if I can get up at five o'clock. We'll see. Um, what else can I tell you? Um, I told you my weight. Um, I've been working. That's pretty much it. Um, here, um, I'm with a lady that has Alzheimer's. She and her, um, with she and her husband, uh, he, uh, mentally is fine. Um, but it, it can be extremely sp stressful sometimes. Um, my other place that I work on Tuesday and Wednesday is kind of like a vacation. She is 95, but uh, mentally she's fine. Um, she reads a lot. She does puzzles. I'm just there to make sure she's safe. So um, it's a big change from here where there's um, a lot of physical work, a lot of cooking, and just the stress of dealing with somebody that has Alzheimer's. Um, other than work, that's pretty much it. I did go to the beach in May with my cousin. It was her 60th birthday. We went last year for my 60th birthday. And we've decided we're going to the beach again for my birthday, which is in August. So I'm kind of working towards that, and I'm excited to be there. But... Um, I'm going to do videos. I'm going to try to do like a video every day and try to do some full days of eating to show you what I'm eating, but it's it's kind of hard. Um, I'm cooking here. If I can get to where I meal prep or at least prep my snacks and have something to grab that that's not, you know, at home, I don't have food 
<laughs> but at the places I work, there's always something to eat. So I, I need to make sure that I'm prepared and that I have um, snacks and food to eat. Um, usually when I cook, I can do some meat or some kind of protein for me and some vegetables w with whatever I do for them. So that's my goal is to get back into um, no carbs, no sugar, just get back to clean eating. I feel so much better when I do that. You know, it's not even really the weight. It's how my body feels and my diabetes, you know, and that's something that I'm going to have forever. And this uh, little monitor just keeps going off, but it's not them. It's the monitor. I'm not sure I have a baby monitor and I have a bed alarm. So um, I have a lot of <laughs> tools when I get here in the morning to help me to know when I need to go get her up. Anyway, so that's my day. I'm, I started off this morning with um, Bulletproof Coffee. I tried to make a video with that and I thought I had the camera on. I did not. Um, but I, I use Kerrygold Butter uh, Heavy Whipping Cream and I do use Splenda Zero, the liquid Splenda Zero. I probably need to get away from that as well, but we're going to take this one step, step at a time. We're going to get rid of the, the real sugar and the... Um, carbs first and we'll see how it goes from there okay if i think of anything else i will come back and maybe i can put some videos together and i might try um some more today uh, with what i'm eating but we'll see okay that's it um thanks for your support thanks for it really helps making the videos whether it helps you or not it helps me it kind of keeps me accountable everybody pretty much says that so it's been it's been a while since i've um done videos so here i am and hope you have a great day talk to you later bye